Alright, welcome back to another tutorial in Maya. For this one we're going to experiment with N-Cloth, which is a pretty cool uh, feature on Maya, so take a look at what it does. So basically with N-Cloth it has allowed this, basically this, this plane, this simple plane, to, be, to act like a cloth. So this is, that's why obviously, hence the name N-Cloth. So pretty cool stuff. And I just created, you know, a simple scene, and it really doesn't take very long to do this. And it's pretty nifty on what you can do with this. So anyway, let's uh, start all over. So let's uh, create a new scene. So let's not save. And uh, first thing we can probably do is obviously create a surface. So basically a polygon plane. Good. Press 5 for uh, shaded. And then go to your inputs. We're going to probably have to, I guess, uh, oops, we're going to probably have to, I guess, increase the uh, subdivision. So let's just go with, like, I guess, 15. And then um, as far as, you know, smoothing it out to get more verts. The reason why we're doing this is because we want to have more um, edges on this. So when we have the object falling on the box and sliding off, it's going to be a lot smoother. So now we just doubled it, so that's pretty good. So we should be fine. All right, so uh, first thing we should do, though, is make sure that we have these centered off. Then it's basically all centered and ready to go. And the next thing you're going to do is create a cube. Drag it onto your uh, grid here. That's a good size. Pretty good. Same thing. Just zero these out. There you go. Okay, so now we're going to raise this up. It's about you know that high. It doesn't matter, whatever your choice. And then this is where the fun stuff comes in. This is where we're going to add in the end cloth. So if you go to your end cloth tab and uh, see this shirt right here, that's where the um, feature is to allow this plane to become the cloth. So, and then also if you go to your end dynamics tab, you can see it's right here as well. Create an end cloth. So. Let's do that. Okay, so that's pretty much exactly what we did: is attached the end cloth to this plane. And obviously, hey, what the hell? What, you know, what do we do? Well, here's what you know. This is what um, allowed for that to happen. So uh, I guess increase the frames to about I don't know, maybe a hundred. That's pretty good. And then uh, go to the beginning of your animation of your timeline and press play. So, you know, nothing, not much going on, except for the fact that we just added that to the to the plane, but obviously a lot of you are probably thinking, well, nothing happened. Why didn't it do anything? Well, the reason why the plane did not uh, conform to the boxes is because we need to do something with the, with the cube here as well. So, and what we do is we actually have to add in um, a passive collider. And what will this allow for the cloth for the box to do is it will allow for the for the for the can't talk today for the um, plane here to conform to the box so then once it falls on it then it will create that bold so just kind of zoom in here beginning of our animation and watch what happens so this is what the passive collider did to the box and a, and what it's going to allow for the plane so watch so there you go. So now it has basically taken effect and it's conforming to the box. So that's pretty that's pretty cool, I got to say. So you know, a lot of cool stuff you can do with this. So in fact, we'll probably increase this to maybe 200 or something. Just to give it a little bit more time to look at it. So I think that's pretty neat as far as what you can do with it, anything of that nature, so I'm pretty impressed. Okay, so uh, we'll just stop it right there. And um, let's see, let's go into our features here, our attribute editor. And, uh, you know, we got, you can see that with the end cloth, you got tons of options as far as what you can do with it and little tweaks you can make. Um, you even go into the, you can even go into the presets right here and click on it and see that you got tons of options airbag beach ball burlap chain mail you name it um, I guess for this tutorial we'll probably just go with like maybe silk 
And then for this, we'll just press silk and then replace all. So, and there you go. And it gives you some notes as far as what the thing can do. You can read that and see for yourself. So, now for that, let's go back to the beginning of our animation and see what that did. And this will basically give the cloth a more a silky feel to it. Now, obviously, as you notice, now the animation is slowed down. So, with adding that silk option to our animation, it slowed the entire process down um, to that. And how to fix that, or basically the reason why it, it did that, is because it dec when we added that silk, I guess for some reason it decreased the grav the gravity of the actual of the actual cloth so now it's moving at a slower pace so if we go into our nucleus one tab you can see that the gravity is at 9.800 and that's a little that's a little high for our that's a little too uh, low for us so and to fix uh, how to fix it from being so slow we could actually increase the gravity to let's say about a hundred and then go back to the beginning of our animation and then play it. And as you can see, it goes a lot faster. And now it's just going to, you know, slide off. And there you go. So obviously, let's say for an example, we want to decrease that. Well, we can go maybe to 90 or something. Go back to the beginning of our animation and just play it and see what we think. And that's pretty cool. So, you know, it doesn't go as fast, but it allows us to kind of determine when the cloth leaves the box. So let me just play that one more time and see what frame we can probably decrease this to. So it stops about around 85 is where it kind of falls off the box. So I guess maybe for now we'll just leave this at maybe 100 because I think 200 frames is a little too much. So Okay, so now I guess we can go back into our end cloth setting and see what we have as far as features. Hmm, let's see, we got bounce, friction, stickiness, all this other cool stuff. Let's say for the friction, we can probably maybe increase that to, I don't know, 203, stickiness uh, to maybe 406. Now let's see what that does. So just kind of, you know, giving it a little bit more time to constrain to the box and it doesn't really fall off exactly um, as it did before. So with the friction and the stickiness, this basically increases um, the strength of the cloth to, to conform to the box without it falling off. So I guess for now we can probably maybe decrease this to zero and maybe this to, I don't know, 60. So, and uh, for the thickness, I don't know, we, maybe we can probably decrease that as well to maybe 101 or something. So, all right, back to the beginning of our animation, and uh, let's play. And still, you know, same thing, obviously, you know, probably doesn't fall off as, f really fall off at all, so, you know, we could probably fix that a bit. So maybe we can just get rid of the stickiness altogether. And uh, there you go, so pretty nifty stuff, so. But we you know it doesn't matter, I mean we can always increase the thickness, increase the friction, you know. You it, you can kind of play around with this all you want and see what you want to do. So increasing the thickness allowed it for basically the the object to fall. So I guess that was probably why it didn't fall that, that initially. So that's pretty cool, I gotta say. Okay, so let me just stop this here. Uh, mine's bugging already. Okay. So let's say, for an example, we wanted to have this cloth fall. But what if something was holding it up? How, what if we could actually hold this up to where, when it when it falls, it doesn't just you know drift into space, as you can see, being um, illustrated right now. You know, just falls off and then it goes into space and we don't know exactly where it goes because it falls out of frame. Um, what we can do to prevent that from happening is if we can kind of go over to our, uh, you know, to the end here and go into vertex mode and we could select some of these points. So 
uh, around it. So maybe these four points would be fine. And then for that, we can actually go to our end constraint and put on a transform. And what will this allow is the um, vertices that we have selected will hold in place. So as the cloth is falling, it will hold that cloth in, in place so then it won't drift into space. So it's, pr it's pretty cool. So let's uh, take a look. Okay, so now we have those four verts selected and, and you can tell that if you did it right, you'll, they'll be selected and they'll act, they will act upon command. So, all right, so now just kind of zoom back in here, select the cloth, and then there you can see the purple dots right there. Back to the beginning of our animation, and then let's play it. And there you go. So pretty nifty stuff. So pretty much what we had in, uh, at the beginning of the video of what we wanted. So um, as far as just kind of frame-wise, if you wanted to do a rough play blast, you can go ahead and decrease the amount of frames you want and then just kind of see what it is right now. So maybe we'll do that. So let me just stop this. It wants to stop. There you go. And uh, I guess we can just put this in maybe 90 right now. And then let's play, uh, do a rough play blast. So play blast, um, format, quick time, encoding H.264, quality uh, at 100. And everything else is pretty good. So, and if you wanted to save this, um, you, you go ahead to save file. And but I don't think we're going to really need saving this. So, all right, let's so let's do a quick play blast and see uh, exactly what happens. So now I just gotta let this uh, load up and it should be ready to go. And there we go. Okay, so here's our quick time movie. It's not a good quality, so I'll try to see if I can increase it, but I th hopefully you guys can see it. And there you go. Pretty nifty stuff. Pretty nifty stuff. So it just kind of just falls and it just flows so smoothly and you can tell that it acts very much like a cloth so it defeats kind of the purpose of having to actually animate something yourself whereas you can just attach an end cloth to this and it does it for you so pretty cool stuff so anyway that's pretty much it for this tutorial if you have any other questions let me know otherwise have fun see what you can do yourself play with some of the options here play with some of the presets you have and uh, you know have at it so any other uh, tips or tricks you have up your sleeve that I didn't even know that I didn't mention in this tutorial let me know otherwise uh, have fun and we'll see you in the next video so see ya